Today on the homestead, we're making sauerkraut. I have already purchased, I have a lot of these jars, but these jars, you'll, when we get done, we'll put the sauerkraut in and that holds it down in the liquid. And then they have special lids. I don't know if you can see that or not, but these lids, they let the air out, but nothing can go in. And so that'll, that's the lids we'll be using. So you need one of these, a bowl like this, and some salt. And that's it. So what we're gonna do to start off with our sauerkraut is we're gonna cut our cabbage in little, the finest shreds that you can possibly do. I, I am challenged doing that, but I'm gonna work on it. So one thing to note, in case you don't know this on cabbage, you've got to cut that core out. The core looks like this where it's just a solid piece and you just cut that right out. And if, instead of throwing this away, if you happen to have a compost pile or chickens or even rabbits, they would love this. They, this is yummy food to them. You know, this is a great job if you have a husband who loves to be in the kitchen, is to have him slice this. If you've never had homemade sauerkraut, it is divine. Now it's gonna have to sit for a couple of weeks because it needs to ferment. It's so amazing what our ancestors uh, learned and we have forgotten, we have, we have stopped paying attention to uh, some of the old ways. Okay, so I have my cabbage cut up. It was a, it was a little less than two pounds. It was, clo it was close to two pounds. So it's cut up and then the next thing that we do is we add one tablespoon of salt on top of it. Just like that, just sprinkle it right on there. This is a handy, handy, handy little tool. You take it and you just start working it just like that. Now, kids can do this. You have kids in the family, let them all take a turn. Let them all, they can't hurt this. You just have to sit here and make it cry. Make a cabbage cry. Kids are like that. This is gonna take you probably about five minutes. Has any of you ever seen your grandparents do this? Your grandma? If you have, tell me about it. I don't remember my grandma doing this. Uh, but this is, this goes way back to making sauerkraut. Well, I tell you, I have, my children are all grown up and gone from home and my arm is tired. <laughs> I would love to have had one of them here that they could have done it for a couple of minutes. But as, I want you to see how it's getting very shiny and it's starting to cry, it's starting to weep. And, uh, and so I don't think it's ready yet. I, I, wanna, I wanna go a couple more minutes. I think that's good. And this is optional, but I like to add a teaspoon of caraway seed. So I'm gonna do that now. It makes it more like a Bavarian style sauerkraut, which I really like. So I, I add the one teaspoon of caraway seeds in there and just mix it up. You don't, you really don't need to pound it anymore once you add those, but you do wanna incorporate it as well as you can. Okay, so we have our caraway seeds added. We're gonna take this out, and then we'll just start filling the jar. This is the easiest way I've found to do it. And when you put it in there, you wanna, you wanna tap it down. Ended it up with two jars from just about two pounds of cabbage. I don't have enough liquid to cover the top, so I'm gonna to have to make some liquid. And the way you do that, one is quart of water and one tablespoon of salt. Okay, so this is how I did it. I put my tablespoon in here, and then I put a little bit of warm water, mixed it up to get it started dissolving. And so I'll just put that on there like that. Because you want that covered at the top. So how these work, this part goes down like that. That holds the cabbage down, and you push it down, and you screw the lid on. Okay, so now these will sit for two weeks, and I will write the date down on my refrigerator. I use these, I use these markers that you can write on and then just wipe it off with, with your rag. And so I'm gonna write today's date down, and in two weeks we'll come back and, and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? Okay, it has been two weeks. We started this on June the 6th, and today's June the 20th. It's been two weeks, and so we can see what it, it looks like in there. Let's take the lid off, and we'll put
pull this little gizmo out. Do the smell test. Smells very now, good. Now, you have fermented cabbage in here, which is sauerkraut. We like ours cooked. I, I like to go ahead and cook it and uh, put it in jars. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And so I'm just going to dump it right out in here. It smells yummy. It smells absolutely yummy. The sauerkraut that we just made is really good fermented. It has a lot of uh, probiotics in it. Uh, however, I don't eat it that way. I put it in a pan and I'm gonna bring this to a boil and cook it down a little bit. And I'll add just a touch of sugar in there because I put caraway seeds and I'm going for more of a Bavarian. Uh, so that's how I'm gonna eat my sauerkraut. But this is good just out of the jar the way it is. Um, it will keep in the refrigerator uh, for a long, long time. I mean, if, once you put it in the refrigerator, this the cabbage is going to get mushy before it goes bad. So keep that in mind that you can just put it in the refrigerator, take a little bit out of a time, out of the, at a time, maybe a tablespoon a day for your prebiotics, um, or you can cook it up and serve it on hot dogs or ever, whatever how you want to do it. This is another one of those things. This is how you make it. Do with it what you will. Okay. Thanks for watching.